Hey confectioners, what's up? I'm Mark and welcome to Epic Confections. Well kids, it's Labor Day Monday. Summer is unfortunately over. Boo! I was gonna make a back to school cake, but I don't really want summer to end, so I'm not making a back to school cake. Although there's many parents out there celebrating the return of school with a couple boxes of wine. You know who you are. Mm-hmm. Just last night, you got yourself into that box of wine, didn't you? Just dreaming about sending off those kids to school on the school bus. I'm gonna miss you so much. Well, that's bullshit. You don't miss them. Mm-mm. You are happy for those teachers to take them off your hands for eight hours, aren't you? Mm-hmm. I know. I know you. I got you. I got you. Today, I'm gonna be making a pop art inspired drip cake. Let's do it! So to start, I just baked off four seven inch round white cakes. I'm just gonna level them out, fill them with buttercream, and stack them up, as we always do. Let's do it. I filled up a piping bag with some white buttercream, or as I like to call it, a cheater bag. And what do I always say, kids? Hot water is a decorator's best friend. the fridge for about 20-30 minutes. We'll pull it out and we'll put some edible images around it. So I just pulled my cake out of the fridge. There is a little bit of moisture on there. So you want to use a paper towel and just gently, gingerly, wipe off the excess moisture. So I found a really cool pop art picture off the internet and I just printed it out on edible paper. Now you can print any picture on edible paper, it's a really cool material to use. Just make sure your cake is dry before you apply it. You can use any photo, a family photo, a picture of a pet, you can really personalize a cake with an edible image. You can even do a risque photo, a couple nude photos on there for your partner. Just put the old ding dong right on there, bon appetit. <laughs> <sighs> so I'm just going to cut out my image and then I'm going to measure it, cut it again and apply it right to the cake. So I just melted down some white chocolate and I have a disposable piping bag and some scissors. I'm just going to go ahead and do a drip effect and also make sure to cover the top of my cake. So once you're happy with your drip, put it into the fridge to let it set up and then we're going to be painting it silver. 
So while my cake is chilling in the fridge, I'm gonna mix together some silver dust and some vodka to make a little bit of a paste, and then we're gonna paint it. So usually when I'm mixing gold or silver or any kind of edible dust, I usually like it a little bit thick. Just, I just find it covers these things. If you like what you saw, click the subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell notification for new videos every single week. Thank you so much to Mariposa Market for sponsoring this awesome video. I hope you guys enjoyed your summer and I really look forward to Halloween. I have a whole bunch of awesome Halloween cakes coming up. So be sure to tune in and tell your friends and family to subscribe and share. <laughs> ah, you're doing